In this video lesson, we're going to talk about the Consumer Price Index. The CPI in the United States is defined by the Bureau of Labor Statistics as a measure of the average change over time in the prices paid by urban consumers for a market basket of consumer goods and services. In this example, we're going to take a look at three different items, TVs, jeans, and pizza, and the quantity for the base year and the quantity for year one are going to be the same. So that is 30 TVs, 40 jeans, and 60 pizzas. The unit price for the base year for TVs is 100. The unit price for the base year for jeans is 30. And the unit price for the base year for pizza is 10. The unit price year one for TVs is 120. The unit price year one for jeans is 25. And the unit price year one for pizzas is 12. So to find the spending for the base year, we multiply the quantity times the unit price. So 30 times 100 will give us 3,000 for TVs. 40 times 30 will give us 1,200 for jeans. 60 times 10 will give us 600 for pizza for a total spending in the base year of 4,800. The spending year one for TVs would be 30 times 120, which would give us 3,600. The spending year one for jeans would be 40 times 25, which would give us 1,000. And the spending year one for pizza would be 60 times 12, which would give us 720. So the total spending for year one would give us 5,320. The consumer price index for year one would equal the spending in year one divided by the spending of the base year times 100. So our numbers would be for the spending in year one, 5,320 divided by the spending of the base year, which would be 4,800 times 100, which would give us 110.8. The price change equals the change in CPI divided by the base year CPI times 100. If we take a look at the change in CPI, we would take 110.8 minus 100 divided by the base year CPI, which is 100, times 100. And that answer is 10.8%. Or you can take a look at the difference in spending from year one to the base year which would be 5,320 minus 4,800 divided by the spending in the base year, which would be 4,800 times 100, and that will also give us the answer of 10.8% for the price change. 